Hello, my name's John Purcell. Welcome to my course on Python and machine learning for complete beginners. In this video, I'm going to explain to you what's actually in this course. Now, it has to be said at the outset, this is quite a long course. You're going to want to work on it a little bit every day, I think, rather than try to get through huge amounts at a time. But my idea in this course was to give complete beginners with computer programming skills that are up to date, that are somewhere near the cutting edge of computing, and that you could use to get a job if you want a job in programming. In fact, I think you could probably get a job after doing two thirds of this course even. Although, of course, there are no guarantees and it depends where you live and how persistent you are and so on. And I hope this course will also be very interesting for people who just want to learn about programming and artificial intelligence for their own purposes, whether you see this as a hobby or you want to start your own company or whatever you want to do with it. There are suggested exercises all the way through the course. You don't have to do the exercises, but you do have to practice somehow. You can't learn computer programming just by watching videos. It's like learning the guitar or the piano or something. You have to actually practice. But over the years, people have often asked me to add more exercises to my courses. And so you can find lots of exercises in this course, which you can do if you want to. So let's go quickly through the contents of the course so that you know what to expect. This section, the introductory section, just tells you about how to create really basic Python programs and how to set up everything that you'll need to program in Python, how to use the course and where to find the source code and so on. We'll then take a look at loops and conditions and functions, containers, string formatting, and a lot of the things that you're going to see, especially in the early sections of the course, they're the same things that you'd see if you studied any programming language. We're going to look at the Python versions of them, but you can find them in almost any programming language. Just the same ideas, just expressed differently. We'll look at regular expressions, which is something Python is known for. These are syntactical elements that are used to handle text, basically, to get bits out of text, to rearrange text and so on. We'll look at handling errors in Python. And then we'll go on to looking at object-oriented programming. In Python, you can do three types of programming, basically procedural, object-oriented, and functional programming. And it's common to mix all three, and that's what we'll be doing in this course. With the skills you've gained up to that point, we will then build something called Conway's Game of Life, which is a well-known cellular automata simulation program that has long been of interest to coders generally. And then we'll look at some more advanced topics within Python programming, like how to create modules, how to implement your own operators. So you can, for example, add your objects together. We'll look at functional programming and files. And then we're going to go on to looking at things that are more associated with machine learning in particular. So we'll look at NumPy. That stands for numerical Python. And that's a library or module that is used for handling large collections of numbers, essentially, in Python. We'll look at graphs and plotting so that you can visualize data. We'll look at Pandas, which is basically like the Python equivalent of a spreadsheet program. So if you ever use spreadsheets, once you've seen that section, you'll be able to use Pandas instead and do a lot more than you ever could probably with a spreadsheet. Then we'll look at regression, which is one of the simplest techniques for predicting data series. It's basically about curve fitting. We'll look at clustering, where we find clusters that are present in data. And then we'll look at naive Bayes, a technique for making predictions about data. In the naive Bayes section and in the section following that on decision trees, you can find some kind of mathematical explanation, but I've pitched it at a level where I'm assuming you don't actually know any mathematics and you don't actually need the mathematics to continue with the course in any case. But I've thrown in some background information in there that explains how the mathematics of these things work a bit. And we'll look at principal component analysis, which is a powerful technique for visualizing data and reducing data to a manageable quantity of different data series. And finally, we'll look at probably the most powerful of 
techniques in machine learning and artificial intelligence, which is artificial neural networks. And we'll see how we can use a neural network in Python with hardly any code at all to easily recognize handwritten digits. If you already know some Python, you might want to skip some of the earlier sections. If you don't know any computer programming at all, welcome to the world of computer programming. And I hope by the time you'll finish this course, you'll have really excellent skills, which you can use to accomplish all kinds of things using computer programs, or even get a job if you want one. This is a free video from my course, Python and Machine Learning for Complete Beginners. I'm releasing the first couple of chapters of this course completely for free on YouTube to get you started with Python. I plan to upload new videos here to YouTube every Monday and every Thursday for at least a couple of months. If you're interested in the complete course, which teaches you Python from scratch and eventually progresses to things like creating graphical user interfaces and using neural networks, principal component analysis, cluster analysis, all that stuff, and much more besides. Then you can find a link in the description or just go to this URL on the screen right here. If you finish the whole course, you'll be able to write all kinds of general purpose programs in Python and use Python to do machine learning and artificial intelligence as well. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy coding.